For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the mass of each of the two cylinders if they cause the springs to sag at five uh, meters right here. This says it's going to be equal to 0.5 meters when suspended from the rings at A and B. Note that S is equal to zero when the cylinders are removed. So you know that this force right here, the force of the springs, they're both the same. The force of the springs is given by S minus S naught times K. This is the formula for the force that is developed by springs. So S is given S is given on the diagram, you gotta find it. So S is the stretch length, is this stretch length, which is S right here. And S is given by the square root of this length to square and the length from here to here which is 1.5 plus s and we're there we're being told that s is 0.5 so it's another 2 square so that's the square root of 8 which comes out to be 2.828 approximately meters and now we need to find that's not that's not is this length right here because we're given so it's given by the square root of 2 square this 2 square and this 1.5 square plus 1.5 square and that comes out to be 2.5 exactly so when we plug the numbers in we get that this is 2.828 minus 2.5 times k k being 100 newtons per meter so the force developed in the spring is 32.8 newtons approximately so as you can see this problem is uh, very 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 symmetrical so let's just find these angles this angle theta which is the same as this angle right here that is given by the tangent inverse of the opposite which is 2 over the adjacent which is also 2 so 2 over 2 so it is 45 degrees so you know that the sum of the forces on the y is equal to 0 so you know that this is the weight of the cylinder this is the weight of the cylinder and these are the two forces of the springs that we just found so assuming this orientation, assuming this is a positive y, this is a positive x 2 times the force of the spring times the sine of 45 because it will give you the y component of the forces of the spring minus 2 times the weight of the cylinder is equal to 0 so when you solve for the weight of the cylinder, remember we already found the force of the springs right here so you just plug that in there and you solve for the weight of the cylinders with some basic algebra you get that the weight of the cylinders is equal to 23.2 newtons you know that the mass of the cylinder is given by the weight of the cylinder divided by the acceleration of gravity which is 9.81 meters per second square so 23.2 divided by 9.81 will give you the mass which comes up to be 2.364 kilograms final answer for the mass of the cylinders please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you